Hey Cancer, how are you? This is Mary Ellen coming to you from Moonrise Cottage with your message for February. Many of you know I've been away um, for months. There's a lot of transformation that's been going on in my life and I know in your life, everybody's life over these last number of months. Um, so Cancer, just a reminder before I start, the links are below. For my website, the COVID-19 readings are still in force. I'm adding a new reading for incarnating souls. So any of you out there who may be in the process of awaiting the arrival of a soul that is coming through you, your energy, you and your partner, or you yourself, as the case may be, you guys are talking about the science available, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it's time for us to talk to those folks, those illuminated beings that are coming. So that is there along with all the other offerings. There are going to be a lot of changes to Moonrise Cottage this coming year, I think, so keep yourself posted for that, and I'll let everybody know when the time comes. There are links below for the astrology. Very important. It's a really intense month coming forward, so make sure you avail yourself of that, my guides are saying. Um, let's see, what, what else? Oh, they want me to let everybody know that the next eight-week session for quantum meditation using that instrument that you can see behind me um, that creates the quantum strings of energy, the vibration, um, the multifaceted, they're going on and on. But basically, we meditate uh, once a week for eight weeks. There will be a new session that's going to post to my website. It's not there yet, but sometime in the next couple of days, I'll get it up there. If you want to be on the list of notifications for that uh Click the link to my website and send me an email, okay? So something kind of mystical, magical going for you, of course. Cancer, check it out. Look at that, Eagle Medicine. Adds up to a seven, numerologically. And then we have Prairie Dog. So there's a lot just in these two cards. And numerologically, it adds up to an 11. So there's something going on for you as you bind with yourself in a sacred way and also with a partner. There are challenges, I think challenges and blessings going on for you and a partner, okay? So Eagle Medicine, I think we all know, if you don't know, look it up on the internet. It's about an enormous amount of sacred vision and the ability to really see from a far distance what is real and what is not. And to, okay, the guys are talking about attenuating your life according to those abilities. Prairie Dog is about accessing the sacred realm through the wormhole that you create for your existence, in a sense, the place where you go to provide yourself with shelter and safety. Maybe <laughs> when the eagles are flying overhead. So there's a lot of interesting messaging going on here. We're going to jump into it a little bit deeper, okay? But you are being pursued into the sacred realm in order to gain a vision and to come emerging back more deeply yourself. And I think something is chasing you in there. And it may be factors of yourself that just are pushing yourself into the deep because of some kind of vision that you may be having. In February, there's a lot of really intense energy. Please look at the links below. It's important that you inform yourself about what's going on, conjunctions of um, Uranus and Jupiter. That just go look, okay? It's important. And here's the reason. When you, my guides keep talking about you're going to chase yourself into the, into the tunnel, into the wormhole of your existence so that you can have an intense vision. And you're going to come out of there with this eagle vision. It's interesting because you're pushing yourself in and out and in all the way. And here's why. Look at that. Look. You are in this process. That's what you're going into the tunnel for. Okay? And there's something in your life that is uh, coming forward to help you take the journey. Some vision that you may have, my guides keep talking about um, being pursued. There's something that is pursuing you like an eagle would pursue a prairie dog. I think it's you. 
I think it's yourself. I don't think it's any other factors. We've been talking for months, Cancer, about your transformation. It's been long and slow. As you came out, your energy came out of the North Node. Then you sort of went in to this process. So let's take a look. Here's what my guides want to speak with you about. You see yourself? Full moon's coming on the 28th of January. It is a wolf moon. Again, please go look at the information about what's going on. So there you sit in this mystical place that you've, thank you, spirit, that you've arrived into. Okay? You're sitting still in your life in some way like this. And my guys are saying the word propagating. You're propagating the change through a self-ordered, They're talking about your burgeoning ability to create self-change and healing. This is a story about a king whose hand lost his hand, his power, and fell off of his throne because of some external means. You, in this month in February, are um, you are creating the healing. He got a mystical healing. He grew his hand back and was able to take up his power, his energy, his throne, so to speak. Again, so that's what the guys want to talk to you about. So here's you under the light of that idea. There, you see? Thank you, spirit. Look, you're going in. You're going in really deep. And you're being, okay, my guys, they keep saying things like you're being driven in. And I think it's a process of your own self-evolution. So if I use those words, please understand that that's how I'm using them. All right. I don't want to have to keep explaining. So you're going into the deep. That is you in the universe, deep out into the mystical realm. You're traveling out of this plane of existence, this earthly existence with your spirit self in order to create, to have a vision and create this outcome. That's what's happening. And that is a seven. So we're talking about mystical energy. Back in the ancient days, the students would go into a sacred hut and be plunged into literal darkness. And they would put a stone upon their heart in order to bring forward the vision and try to stay awake. That's what you're doing. You're going into this tunnel of self-created mystical vision. This card, this card, sorry, this card is the Six of Cups. So we're talking about um, nostalgia, desires about the past, review of your past journey through this life and I think through other lifetimes. I think you're going through into the multiverse in order to bring forward some kind of psychic vision, some kind of understanding about yourself, some greater vision of your own. Self-understanding. Okay. It's about nostalgia in love. It's, you know, some readers will say uh, there's a soulmate in your midst or someone that you're trying to connect to that you're feeling nostalgic about. Um, this month, with everything that's going on in the universe, there are definitely, I think, because of what's on the table, there are factors of this and um, deeper healing available to you around the, my guides are saying it, the issue, the issue of love in your life. And it is this desire, thank you, Spirit, it is this desire in order to have what it is that you are meant to have that brings you into this journey. So let's take a look. So in the... Cancer, are we surprised? Look, the moon card. In this deck, it's the heart, uh, the, um, okay, hang on, my guys are talking. All right, they're saying a lot of words, but it's the imaginer of harmony. So when you go into your little prairie dog tunnel and you go all the way out into the universe, this is what you're going to be doing out there. Yeah, there's going to be some nostalgia. There's going to be some past life review. I think you're actually going to be able to do it. You might have some visions. So you can get in this boat and put your hands on the oars and it'll take you to any place. 
that you can imagine that brings harmony into your life. Or, as a water sign, you can get on this beautiful image of wisdom and Piscean energy, the ocean. There's a representation of your energy here on the earth and dive as deep as you want. So go for it. We've got all these indications of a, just a really deep journey. Here's why. Because you're seeking balance. Look at that. The balancer of harmony. So it, that's what it's going to be about for you this month. You're going to have a lot of desires. This is the justice card. There's something that you are feeling is unjust in your life, perhaps, or something that has happened that was unjust, and you're going to go get your balance back. Right? This is also, there's the goddess, Elena. You see how she was split right open right down the central meridian? And she comes back into her position, just like the king of battle. It's very interesting. Who indicates, um, you know, the king of battle is king of swords intellectual clarity and a willingness to go forward into the battles of your life with that amount of clarity so all of these things are your my guides are calling it your endeavors this month is to bring yourself into harmony and into balance and to weave together the factors that will bring you into this destiny so something going on this is the three of Art in this deck, cups, love energy is described as art because it is an art to be able to be loving and connected. And that's what you want very deeply to be connected without any obstacles. So th this couple did have an obstacle. A lot of readers will say when this comes up and we're talking about love, we're talking about a third party situation. So there's something going on in your life somewhere in some aspect of your loving endeavors. And this obstacle eventually was, was mystically put into a bag and tied up with a bow and hung on a hook so it didn't stand between these two. So if you're having challenges with your partner, there are obstacles that, that you will be able to remove once you go through your journey and you come into balance. So take heart, my guides are saying. So check it out, Cancer, just so you know. There's a lot of change that's coming. You see the vessel? There are two vessels. And I'm just going to give you a little teaser ad. That's what's above it. Look at that. You're going in deep. Okay? Beautiful cancer. Elopement. The elopement of sacred knowledge that causes you to transform in a way that you never imagined. And come into yourself through this transformation. A lot of change happening. Rapid change. This is the eight of pentacles. You are meant to come through this change and come out the other side with mastery. With Through the process of a lot of hard work and keeping your focus there. So go straight for it. Because on a soul level, this is the, this is the energy that will help you transition from this earthly journey and the change that's meant to happen so you can come into alignment with your soul contract. And look, the first card. Look at that. Cancer, what are you stuck to, darlings? It's an interesting theme that's been going on for kind of a while now. So another eight, right? More infinity energy. Elopement, shift, change, mastery. When it comes to yourself. The elopement of art is the eight of cups. Something that you are walking away from in the aspect of your soul contract. You are meant to walk away and release yourself so that you can walk into your future. That's what this is all about. And Cancer, you know, don't be surprised because you and the other water signs, you and Pisces particularly, you are carrying the energy of love. That's your purpose here, or you would not have incarnated. And so, of course, your life is going to be about these challenges, in part, right? So something that you were stuck to, you're walking away from it now in order to walk into your destiny. And your desire about your destiny is that. Use the full moon that's coming. Maybe do yourself a ceremony if you do things like that to release yourself from whatever it is that you have been stuck to 
the, my guides are talking about the uses of love energy in your life and how you've employed it. There's some great change coming that you are going to be free from so that you can walk into your destiny. And when you free yourself, look, that's the sacred magician. It's the decider of will. That's what brings the magic of this change to you. You have to make decisions about your soul trajectory. It's part of the contract that you came in with to have this experience, depending on what you believe. So there's magic in the air, Cancer. <laughs> My guides are saying things like, you know, it's going to be okay. But this is what we come here for, or to have our experiences so that we can fulfill the contract that we made before we came here to have a set of experiences within the vibrational field. And your vibrational field is all about love energy. What is it? Why is it fluid? How does it flow the way it does? How do you experience it in your life? Look at that. The sacred grandmother. It's beautiful. So that is the queen of pentacles. or pro Yes, pentacles. And this deck, it's knowledge. And so we're talking about sacred knowledge. She's looking into your reading, into the magic. Look at that. I think there's nothing that's going to hold you back this month as you walk into your future because your energy, okay, my guys are talking about your internal male and female, right? You are weaving the strings of your destiny on a soul level. You see yourself dancing with another person in the light of the sun? Very interesting. So you have two outcome cards, and one of them is the sun. There you are. Post-transformation. Standing in the full light of your power, male power. The energy to move things forward and to create victory in your own life in some way. With a massive amount of abundance in a very sacred place. Look. Whatever it is that you're going through with your loved one, it's going to resolve, and you are going to come into the mystery of it. See those cups? We can't see what's unfolding. But there is an intention and a willingness and an actually, thank you, Spirit, and a decision that's going to be made so that you can go forward in your own life and in this partnership, whatever it's about. It's going to be having the sun. It's going to illuminate. There's something... I think it's connected with the moon because of everything that's going on with the moon. The moon that is going to come into illumination. Some process that wasn't helping you is going to be culminated. And you're going to come, you're going to make a decision which is going to bring forward the weaving of your destiny. Okay? And then these questions about love, my guys are talking, I'll get to it. I'll get to it, Spirit, about love in your life are going to come into illumination, resolution, um, with a lot of abundant, abundance, pardon me, and a willingness to go forward into the mystery of the relationship, whatever that may be. The three of wands is the moment when you make the decision to take the journey. So whoever you're with, always remember, including yourself, These are the energies that are available to you in the month of February to go forward with full illumination because of the pull of this intense moon. It's the wolf moon on the 28th of January. So I'm trying really hard after taking a month off to get these readings out for everybody. So please contemplate the entirety of your energy, my guides are saying, and understand the process that you're going to go through. Some of you with a sacred partner... A mate of some kind. Okay, they're asking me to pause. And the outcome of this journey that has everything to do with your desire for harmony in your life depends upon your ability to perform self-healing this month, okay? Trust the universe, ask for assistance, all those kinds of things. You'll get it. There's no doubt in my mind, given the way the cards are, displayed and the way the outcome is it's going to be a successful journey okay so trust yourself this is something from from the sacred bowl for you they want that one yeah i like 
that. Look, Cancer. That's a room for joy. Okay. <laughs> I really like it. So there's some process, of course, that's unfolding that's going to bring you really into a lot of joy. My guys are telling me to read from the book, so hang on. Let me do that. I like it, and it's perfectly timed after all the battles that we've been through over the last couple of months, and now the energy is shifting. And it's bringing a lot of culmination and a lot of transformation to all of us, really, here in this room. Okay, this is about joy. It's about light returning. It's the rune Hunjo. So this uh, rune is the fruit-bearing branch. In terms, the term of your travail, travails has ended, and you have come to yourself in some regard. All right. Thank you, Spirit. The shift that was due has occurred, and you can now freely receive Wunjo's blessings, whether they are in material gain in your emotional life or in a heightened sense of your own well-being. This is an alchemical moment in which understanding is transmuted from knowledge. The knowledge itself was a necessary but not sufficient condition, and now you can rejoice, having been carried across the gap, thank you, Spirit, by the will of heaven. I like it. So joyousness accompanies this new energy, energy that was blocked before now. Light pierces the clouds and touches the waters just as something lovely emerges from the depths of your existence. Your soul is illuminated from within at the meeting place of heaven and earth, the meeting of the sacred waters. Thank you, Spirit. It is very timely and proper for you to do so. For Wunjo is a rune of restoration of the self properly aligned with the self. Thank you, Spirit. Really love it. So, Cancer, um, please understand. My guides are sort of pressing me on this. Please understand that everything that you do in these moments, whatever the efforts are, whether you feel you're successful or not, make them because it carries all of us. Because you are the water element, the love energy here on the earth. It carries all of us forward. It's really important. So thank you for your efforts. Um, let me know. My guides are saying, let us know if you need anything. I think they're basically, they're just saying this, this moment, you really can connect with the universe and manifest your desires because we see all of this. The whole left-hand side of this reading is all about util the utilization of the sacred vessel of yourself. Your own energy going through all this massive change because of what you can imagine and the harmony you want in your life. So I like it. You're going to be unbound in some way on a soul level. And you're going to be released from all those, the, my guys are talking about amalgamation, all the things that brought you into the state of being that you experience in this place. All right. So thank you, Cancer. I'm um, Thrilled to see this because of how it indicates the destiny of humanity in these very important moments just post-election. So I'll look forward, God is willing, as I always say, to next month. Have a wonderful month. Enjoy the moon. Use it. That's your power element in these moments. Thanks, Cancer.